Yeah. I was training for the Ultra Trail Australia 100 kilometre race, which was originally scheduled for May. And with everything that happened, I, I wasn't going to be going anyway. And then it was cancelled. I have run it a few times before, and I guess I say I'm not competitive, but I still wanted to see if I could beat my, my best time. But it was cancelled, so I do miss that little bit of competition. I had about five different plans that all fell by the way. I had a few different adventure runs that I was wanting to do, but a lot of the areas had burnt with the fires this year. And then I've always wanted to run longer sections of the human hovel track. So I thought, well, if I just start at point A and just run all the way home. So we Jasper to Tumut sounded like a perfect distance. Okay, so the plan for today is to, to make my way from Wee Jasper and run all the way home back to Tumut um, via the Human Hovel Track and the Snowy Mountains Highway, Tumut Plains Road and a distance of about 86 kilometres, I believe. I'm probably not wanting to believe that at the moment. <laughs> I was hoping for shorts weather, but I don't think it's going to be <laughs> like that today. Wow. Oh, it's 4.30. <laughs> See you, mate. Off we go. See ya. Thanks. Enjoy. Thanks, guys. See you on the road. <laughs> Enjoy all that. Oh, dear. <laughs> Got to start. Oh, Should I run to start? Got to turn your headlamp on. <laughs> Bye. See ya. So it started with a nice early start at about 4.30 in the morning. I didn't get a lot of sleep the night before. I still get really anxious before a long run. I think I just counted the sheep that were calling out all night. Really well. You feeling all right? Yeah, not too bad actually. It was nice to start with a hike so you don't go out too hard. But I'm um, hearing the birds come up. Just cooking a bit of food. We've got about an hour to wait before Eloise will turn up. Oh. Mikalong Swamp through to the Goober Gandra. Now, Eloise is saying that's going to be uh, at least four hours. So at 6 a.m. she was back here. We picked her up again at Log Bridge at 7. It's nearly half past eight and she's going to end up here at Four Trees. So the next spot we've got to pick her up is maybe Mikalon campsite, but I think it might be a bit wet for us to get in. Yeah, 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 you know, you're doing really well. Get home for dinner. <laughs> that's the goal. That's the goal. <laughs> well, thank you very much all. See you soon. Two hours, under, two, under two hours. Under two hours. <laughs>
Og så er der fat i jern, og så er det en kiske, de gør i dit. Wow! Actually, the weather is an interesting one. I was being, I was being a, a, a little bit sooky at the start. <laughs> and that was quite windy when we started, not too cold. I think once we got up onto Mount Wee Jasper, the wind really picked up. By the time I met you at around Four Trees Road, near the Mickalong Creek, the rain had just started to set in. I think the plants had all reached saturation point and it was single track and they were all just overhanging the track. So you're just constantly getting this stream of water gushing over you from all the water-loaded plants. <laughs> the bushes are just so wet. You just get poof. Yeah, because it's so it, it would be so overgrown at the moment, so tight. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh. <laughs> I'm here. You're doing well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I fell behind schedule on that one. That was cold up top. <laughs> it got colder when you left. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, you climb a little bit more too. Yeah, maybe that was you it. You do. Yeah. Not a lot, but... It's character building. It's character building. <laughs> it was fun though. It was <laughs> sick kind of fun. These are my run of McDonald's shoes. This is what happens when you buy things that's special. You can't get the colour you want. And actually it was great, because the vegetation changes as you're going. Yeah, you're going up Mount Wee Jasper, then you're up through pine forest, then native forest, and through the Mickalong Swamp. And then you drop back down to the Goob. So it's constantly changing in. You're in paddocks and getting chased by magpies. And yeah, so yeah, it's good, good variety the whole way through. I heard lots of birds calling, but I was too tired to try and think about what, what they were. I think I like that mix too, where you're not just on a like a, a good flat fire trail, or you, you, there's bits where you got to slow down, and even even stepping over logs and things just breaks it up a bit too. And you, it's a good excuse to stretch out a bit, climbing over some logs, and and then you know some slower technical things, and um, you get to mix up a bit of fast hiking and, and running. Right, it's not the safest place, is it? But no, you. Uh, but once you get around this corner here, you got right. pretty good Even after the, the run we just completed on the human hovel, I think after a really busy year, my head felt clear for the first time in months at the end of it. I think just the having to think about for eight or nine hours or 10 hours, just putting one foot in front of the other and, and just eating and drinking all day, and that's all you're thinking about. It's actually really good for your headspace. But with this distance, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta round it up. Oh, oh, nine, nine, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And.